I'm Lucy Champion and I'm a breastfeeding supporter in Kingswood in South Gloucestershire. There's lots of services available for parents expecting a baby, midwives, health visitors and children's centres. In my area, Bernardo's provides extra support. <laughs> That's really, really good. I visit mums before they've had their baby and I talk to them about breastfeeding depending on what their needs are and any concerns they have and then I support them for three weeks after their babies have been born as well. Mm. Good morning. <laughs> before I had Isaac I was really keen to breastfeed. Oh. I think I was a bit naive and I thought it would just come really easily and um, I think I prepared so much for childbirth that I didn't really prepare much for what was beyond that. And so, yeah, it was, it was a bit of a surprise that I found it difficult in the beginning. My son's just seven weeks at the moment, so things are picking up and, yeah, really looking forward to breastfeeding all the way, really. Let me change your nappy. <laughs> We're a big team of supporters working across Bristol and South Gloucestershire. Cat's supporter is Emily. Hi Emily! How are you? Yeah, good. First good. of all, Emily from Bernardis phoned me before he was born and then I texted Emily to say that he'd arrived safely. Emily asked me how I was getting on. I was finding it difficult to latch him on, so I was getting a bit worried. She came round to my house and gave me lots of advice that really helped me get settled in a bit better. Is he gaining weight nicely now? He is, yes. Um, Good. So, yeah, thank you for your help. It's reassuring when you get them weighed and they've put on a lot of weight. It's like your hard work is paying off, isn't it? And you put in a lot of hard work, especially in the early days, mm -hmm. you know, when it was rocky for you and you weren't sure what was happening. It's been really reassuring just to have Emily to watch me feed and to give me that confidence that it is going well. We all work really closely with our local midwives. In my area, Jill lets all the mums know about our service and then I contact them Hi, if they want me to. Jill. Hi. Midwives, health visitors and the peer support breastfeeding service all work together. I think the midwife's role is to plant the seed breastfeeding. I just wondered if you could tell me a little bit about what, if I was to tell a breastfeeding mother, what she could expect from a peer supporter. Um, I'm a mum who has breastfed myself and I've received training to help support other mums to reach their goals, whatever they are, whether it's a day, a month or a year. Don't give advice, just information and support. I think a lot of women do need that initial information to help them make decisions about breastfeeding. Yeah. My colleague Sandra is visiting Chen, who's due in three weeks, to listen to her thoughts and concerns and offer information. I'm quite excited. I think breastfeeding's a beautiful thing. It's like one of the most natural things you could do. So it's a privilege, hopefully, if I can do it. If you'd like to take a seat in the Thank room. Thank you. So how are you feeling at the moment? Yeah, not too bad, just really heavy. Oh. The breastfeeding service is a respectful and enabling service. We aim to listen to each mother individually. What appeals to you most, breastfeeding or bottle feeding? Definitely breastfeeding. Definitely breastfeeding. If she'd like to breastfeed her baby, we can address any anxieties that she has and equip her with the skills that she's going to need to get breastfeeding off to a good start. Have you got any concerns, anything that doesn't appeal to you about breastfeeding? I, I hear that sometimes you can get like loads of different um, like sores and things on your breast okay. that I'm quite concerned about. So. Right, so you're, you're worried it might be painful. Yeah. Have you spoken to people that have had that experience? No, um, TV. <laughs> okay. I've seen on TV and I also remember as a child um, when my mum was breastfeeding my siblings having to go and get her like warm flannels to place on her breast where right. they were really sore and... It's quite common for mums to have some discomfort in the first week when they're breastfeeding. Um, it shouldn't really be pain. Basically, if you're very, very, very sore, it means that the baby isn't latched on properly. You could call me and I could come round and see what's happening. 
So on the one hand, you really want your baby to have the goodness of your milk. That's very important to you. But on the other hand, you are worried that it might be painful. She might not even be able to do it. And if she does do it, will you know how much milk she's getting? Is yeah, that right? Exactly. Mm -hmm. The antenatal um, meetings made me feel so much better. I feel really confident. Um, I feel more prepared for breastfeeding just by being able to have my questions um, and concerns answered. I feel much more confident I've made the right decision. Just then, that's when I get her gums <laughs> Many mums enjoy getting together at a breastfeeding group. Anyone can come, however old their baby. It's a very social, informal group. Mums come along. Um, there's peer supporters like myself, skin to skin, and just see what. And it's quite nice to be able to draw on other mums' experiences. Our groups are often led by volunteers who we've trained. <laughs> Lila is 15 months now. We've been coming since she was born. We chat. We eat biscuits. <laughs> and Lila has fun. <laughs> I don't know what I'd do without her. Really, it's been great. The groups are held at local health and children's centres. Rachel works closely with Jenny, a health visitor who set up the very first group in the area. Bristol was the first city in the UK in March 2010 to achieve baby-friendly status and the breastfeeding service is part of a wider set of initiatives. So how's it all going? Yes, well thanks. I mean, he's, he's a hungry baby. <laughs> all staff are trained up to a certain standard, which includes midwives, health visitors, children's centre staff, peer supporters, and we're all empowering mothers um, with their choices rather than telling mothers what they should be doing. I really enjoy being um, a breastfeeding supporter, but especially being able to, to leave knowing that hopefully I've, I've given them some confidence and some trust in themselves and their own body. Are you going to give me a smile? <laughs> That's what I like the best.